Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, early learners. It's me, Mrs. Readwright, back together on Final Friday in the art room. And the art room is a place where we look at art and we talk about art and we create art. And we also talk about artists. And this week we've been talking about Diego Rivera. Diego Rivera is a Mexican artist and he's a muralist. Remember what a muralist is? He's a person, he or she, because there are women who are muralists too. The muralist paints on walls, big giant paintings, and they cover the whole wall. We have a city near us that has dozens of murals throughout their town and it's beautiful there. I hope you can travel to places and notice murals. We have lots of them downtown in Fresno too. We're talking about La Pinata. La Pinata is a painting by Diego Rivera. It isn't a giant painting on the wall. This is a painting that's been framed. And in that painting is a group of children hitting a pinata and gathering the things that were inside. And inside there was fruit and toys and candy. And we know that there's someone crying in the picture and there's someone who has fallen on their back in the picture. And we're going to talk a little bit more about it. And we used letters and numbers yesterday to talk about the print. I'd like you to say one, two, say hi to you, to say hello to a few more people. Get your four people inside your mind. And as I call out my four names, you can call out your four names. Ready? One, two, say hi to you. Hi, Eli. Hello, Emma and Amberi and Eleonora. Let's put these friends away and I'll make new ones for next week. If you write to me at the station, I'll get your name and put it on one of these cards and the letters that you can send are to this address below. All right, so let's go over and take a look at La Pinata again to see if we see anything shiny, anything that might look like it's a mirror because yesterday I told you we were going to make a decorative mural, a mirror. It's not a mirror that you'd hang in your restroom so that you could see yourself after you brush your teeth and make sure you have no toothpaste on your face. This is a mirror just to make it look fancy. I have one in my garden. I have it at a place where when I'm working in the garden, if I hear my gate opening, I can look up and I can see who's coming up behind me. It's out there to look fancy like when I wear my beret, but it also helps me when I hear my gate open and close. Let's go over to La Pinata. So when I look at this painting, I look to see these cones are shiny and you can see that my pinata, let me see if I can get it off of this stand and bring it over. My pinata has very shiny cones on it and they're kind of like a, a mirror too. You, I can't see myself because there's a pattern on here. It's a star and I can, can't see myself, but I can see my reflection a little bit. But mirrors make things even fancier. So let's set the pinata back down underneath this chart that we will eventually go over and look at at the end. But I look on here and I see those cones are shiny and this round ball of the pinata is shiny. I think this ribbon in her hair is shiny. A lot of these ribbons are shiny. Ribbons have a shiny side and kind of a dull side if you ever look at ribbons up close. We're going to talk about our poem and when we step back over here, and we'll see if there's something about shiny today. When I look at my book, One is a Pinata, we're on the fifth day and talking about the number five. One is a pinata. Let me see if what the picture looks like on that day five. If it's the same as what I'm singing about. Oh, it is. Five are cometas that dip and fly. Five are the nubes that float 
through the sky. Here it is. The illustrations are just wonderful because they're simple and it looks like a child could have drawn some of it, but they are very, very decorative. I'm closing the book and we're going to look at what we have on the chart. Let me shift myself sideways. Five are cometas that dip and fly. Five are the nubes that fly through the sky. I meant to bring my melodica up here to talk about the wind instrument that it is. I might be able to get it, but we'll see. I'm going to see which of these two letters go with which picture. Mmm. Mmm, the letter N. Does cometas start with N or does nubes? The nubes do. And the cometas is the C. I better move these down because I think it's showing one side or the other. Move this down. All righty. Let's go over here because I think we need to finish our art. Let me get it on my lap. Do you remember the two circles? I cut out a larger circle. And when I cut out a smaller circle, I glued it there. And we've been doing doodles. And I started doing this wavy line is it behind one? Oh, this is it. I started this wavy line that's kind of zigzag on all of these. If you have your pen or your black crayon, you can make yours. I'm going to do this wavy. To make it really decorative, you're going to want to do some of the lines and then color it in with your pastels. I'm going to do a little bit more on this one. I think I need to use my clipboard because it's hard to use this pad, but I wanted to remember to show you this. I took some newspaper, several sheets, and I taped around the edge. This is the kind of thing you use when you're going to use your pastels because when you press down, the paper is kind of spongy and it helps the pastels color brightly. So let me get my hard surface while I use my black pen. Do you remember what I was doing around the edge? I was doing a zig and a zag. I turned it and did a zig and a zag. Turned it and I did a zig and a zag. I think it would be easier and smarter if I put the lid on the end. That way I don't have to hold it and draw. Zig and a zag. Are you doing a zigzag shape? Maybe you did a curved shape because it doesn't have to look like mine. I wanted mine to look kind of like a sun because I used sun colors. Ooh, I have to make that one skinny. I'll continue with my design here, but I'm going to do something different in between. I'm going to put circles in between here. For me, it's easier to color and then draw around it. I'm going to show you. I am going to use my red crayon or my pastel and color in the dots. And it still looks good, but it's much easier for me to draw the dots and then circle around the outside of the dot with my black pen. See how much easier I don't have to fill it in. I can just do my dot and my dot and my dot and my dot. This is a project that takes a long time. Don't feel like you have to finish it today. I might work on this for many days. It's just something to make myself feel happy when I think I can't go outside because it's too smoky. What can I do? Oh, I know. I can get my doodle out and start doing more doodles on there. And I wonder, which do you like better? The ones I colored first and outlined or outlined and filled in? It doesn't really matter the order. You have to decide which one you like. I think I'm going to use a different color. I think I haven't used green in a while. So I'm going to make it triangles. 
I'm going to do a pattern of polka dot, polka dot, triangle, triangle. Polka dot, polka dot, triangle. And the next one, triangle. I'm filling it in. Oh, I went out of the line a little bit. I'm just going to make it bigger and cover that up. I know how to fix my mistakes. I hardly ever start over on my art. If I make a mistake, I just say, no mistakes in art, just fix it up doing something else, or I draw over the top of it, or I just think, well, that looks good like that. Doesn't have to look exactly how I planned it in the beginning. That's the nice thing about art. Nobody knows what you had in your mind to start out with, so just make it how you'd like. I think I will do white on here, and I'm going to fill in this one. I'm going to make it look like the clouds that are in the song. Make it filled up this part. There we go. All right. Now, I told you we were going to make it into a decorative mirror. How do you do that? Mirrors are made of glass. Are they going to let small children use glass? I don't think so. So let me get the foil. Remember yesterday I told you about foil that you might use in cooking? I took a piece and ripped it out of the box. And then I folded it so that it would be a smaller size. Will it fit in the middle as a rectangle? No. So I found a circle, it's one of these, and that would fit in the middle. So I am going to go on this, and I am going to trace this with a pencil, because a pencil will make a line press down on the foil. And I can see it, and I can cut it. Cut around and around. Now, if you want it to stay just a shiny piece of mirror, you can leave it like this, but I'd like to make it have some decorations and doodle on it too. If you think that sounds good, do it that way. You can make more than one maybe if you have materials that you could use. Here's where I'm going to put it on here. And I will glue it in the middle so you can see what it's going to look like when it's finished. Put it in the middle. And it's my decorative mirror. Do you see? And if I want to make a design, I will use my pencil and press down. And it makes a mark. It doesn't make the pencil mark show up. It just makes a little bend in the paper. How does that look to you? Well, it's toward the end of our day, and I want to say goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as happily as we can. Goodbye, boys and girls. Have a great weekend. Next week, we're going to begin learning about apples because Johnny Appleseed's birthday is coming. We're going to look at prints that artists have painted about apples. See you then. Bye-bye. Morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone.